thoughts on one and zero? First of all, <laughs> it's nice, Lenny, to get it. You get it. You know, uh, honestly, we're where we were last year after this game. Um, you know, we we have to find a way for it to carry over. We have a lot of work to do. You know, to, we put the ball on the ground way too much yet again. But it's part of the cost when you're running triple option football. All right. We also have to figure out how, uh, to, you know, to, to bow our necks a little bit defensively uh, with the inside run game because it doesn't get easy now. You know, now we get into, you know, the, the meat grinder, the Shaws and the Jesuits and the and the brother Martins and the Curry and on and on and on, right? So, uh, you know, for a team where, where, you know, we had multiple, multiple players play their first high school football game tonight. Defensively, everybody except 99 played their first high school football game tonight. We don't have a senior on our defense. And offensively, it's the same thing. Our quarterback, well, that was his first high school game. Our fullback, that was his first high school game. One of our wings is a ninth grader. You know, the other wing played defense last year. Both of our receivers, that was their first high school games. So I feel like we're gonna be better. You know, it's, it's a process through this season. Not playing these last couple of weeks hurt us because we needed those reps in practice. But um, look, we'll want to know. We're going to ring the bell, and our kids are happy, and we had a great student body turnout tonight. So uh, we're just going to work, keep keep working, and get ready for Shaw. Yeah, well, you mentioned so many guys playing their first game. One of them was your quarterback, but right. yeah, you did have a couple of fumbles. But he rushes for a touchdown. He throws two touchdown passes. Obviously, made some good decisions in right. the course of in this new offense that you're running. Yeah, he's going to be a very, very good player. A very good player, uh, and he's a competitor. You know, so. He, he's one of our hardest workers. When your better players are your hardest workers, you're on to something. And I, I think we're on to something. I think our kids are going to be uh, they're going to be a pleasant surprise as we go through the year. Talk about the play early in the third quarter. You had just you turned it over right, right away, and then you get you get the play at the goal line. It could have been a touchdown, but right. even without it, still keeping them out at that point and forcing the turnover on the yeah, goal line, and then you go in and score after it, it that. It was gigantic. I mean, that was a huge momentum swing for us. Uh, but even on that, we get a block in the back, right? So uh, I, we we have to get better defending inside run. We're, we're struggling defending inside run. Um, but, again, I think a lot of that has to do with, other than 99, you, you're talking about guys that they've never had that kind of tempo come at them. They've never had that kind of um, – physicality come out and you can't duplicate that at practice right and you're gonna show up with 30 guys on Friday night so for us to get through it like we did and battle the way we did with all those kids you know and I look at it all the time and I try to think about this year Lenny I think about this year this year this year but to know everybody on our football team we have 88 football players on our football team 75 of them return out of 88 so we're, we're in the right, we're, we're right where we need to be. I don't know where we'll be at the end of this year, but I know where this program's going with that type of number returning for football.